what is up you guys welcome back to my channel hey <laughs> anyways you guys um yeah welcome back to my channel my name is maria for the people that don't know me and i'm a tarot reader here on youtube and i do a lot of different like videos like spirituality i am very intuitive um so i'm gonna do this collective reading you guys it's gonna be five different readings and the way that you guys are gonna like pick which one is your reading is i have these uh crystals okay you guys um i want you guys to i'm gonna drop in the description uh the timestamps. okay so basically you're gonna choose a crystal and you're gonna fast forward, watch it. I'm also gonna be including my pendulum, so I'm gonna. You guys can ask a yes or no question, and I'm gonna be using my pendulum. Um, and yeah, so go ahead and fast forward, and we'll see you then. Bye, you guys. To those people, and hello to the people that chose amethyst because this is going to be ameth amethyst reading can't even say it you guys I'm already getting like cross faded I got a little margarita here just because I get like really dry mouth from um, smoking I'm hashtag lit <laughs> you guys are like what? <laughs> <laughs> okay I got you guys so amethyst you want to know about a relationship because I grab these cards and these have to do have to deal with like romance and um <laughs> yes I'm so stoked you guys <laughs> okay all right, first card that popped out, the death card. Some type of transformation is happening in your life right now. People that chose amethyst, okay? So maybe I feel like, okay, another one. The seven of wands. I'm going to pull a couple cards and then I'm going to go ahead and get like super deep into the reading, you guys. But yeah, I'm feeling like these two cards. Nine of Pentacles. And then the Knight of Swords. Right off the bat, I'm feeling like somebody is like, okay. Then you have the temperance card that came out, you guys. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, okay, so yeah. There's definitely a relationship could be with, if it's not romantic, it could be like maybe your best friend, your siblings, your parents, it's like a type of relationship, okay? Because everybody's not going through the same thing. Um, not everybody's having problems with their significant other, but I am feeling like someone in this relationship has a little bit of a toxicity type of behavior. I feel like someone wants to be like in control of everything. It's like maybe they're obsessed with control. Um, I feel like someone can be codependent on somebody else. Meaning like you feel like you can't live without this person. Like you're super obsessed. Um, takes a sip. <laughs> um... But yeah, um, I feel like someone could be unhappy because of the possessiveness, okay? It's like, it 
It's like someone doesn't want to submit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, I feel like there's definitely some feelings that you have towards, I mean, this is your partner. I'm feeling like a lot, like this could be like your partner. I feel like there could be like two different type of women in your life. Maybe you're dealing with. One is like you have an obsession over and the other one you care about. The energy is shifting, so only take what resonates, you guys. Not everybody has the same scenario. Um, I feel like if you're having like troubles um, a group for a group of you guys, I feel like some of you guys are just scared of the past repeating itself. Okay? Like... You're starting to get addicted to somebody um, and someone's not happy and there's definitely a tower moment that is happening. So a lot of changes are happening right now within you and this relationship because you do have the temperance card. Um, temperance in the tarot deck is known as like divine guidance, like the universe. It's creation you see mixing it's like she's creating right um, okay so let's see the energy that amethyst people need to focus on for the following week, the following months. I'm feeling like for some of you guys, there might be some like toxic like behaviors, like someone could be like very narcissistic and it's like you want to have control of every every single little move with this significant other of yours and it's just like i don't know if this person wants to submit and i don't know if the universe is gonna allow it who knows you guys i don't like seeing toxicity like my honest like point of view you know like if someone has very toxic behaviors, like, it could be sex, it could be, like, drugs, third parties, which I did see here. There was two different women. Um, it's, like, people that are snakes and don't care about other people's feelings just as long as they get what they want. That's not okay. I don't like that energy. Maybe someone's doing that to you. There's definitely decisions that... <laughs> someone's gonna wanna reach out. Okay. Reach out and maybe make an offer, come to a conclusion. Maybe, I am getting as well, like, we all have, like, toxic behaviors, right? Everybody does. Me, I, I mean, I admit it. <laughs> I admit it. <laughs> it's something that I work on. You know, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect person. Like, it's definitely like hard to like change and be different and be better you have to always be like the better version of yourself always like take it up a notch um okay i feel like this card yeah then you have the five of wands i don't know you guys 
There's still three party. What's going on? I feel. <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> I don't know. You. I feel like you like these women for different reasons. Maybe one is like super romantic, brings out your romantic side. Like, you just want to love them. You want to give them that affection, like, physically, right? And maybe one, like, teases you. Um, likes to give you a show. <laughs> you think she's hot. Super hot because she's very passionate. One of them is. Um... Then you do have the Ten of Cups. So that means like emotional happiness. I feel like, yeah, you're definitely going to be looking at a lot of factors. Um, I don't know. It's going to be hard. Okay, so, dang, okay. The yes or no question, right? Okay. Make sure you guys are thinking right now, like, quick. Think about what it is that you want to ask. And then I will let you guys know what I'm feeling. I'm going to try not to move this, you guys, because it does have to go by itself. I have to hold my hand really steady. So, yes. <laughs> so, whatever you asked, yes. Okay. All right. And that was your guys' reading. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. And yes, you guys. I'll be seeing you guys later. Um, bye. <laughs> And this is going to be for the Rose Quartz people. Alright. Sorry you guys, I have like super long reading. I'm trying to keep these like under 10 minutes, but okay. Relationship again? <laughs> Okay, Rose Quartz. <laughs> I mean, Rose Quartz is love, right? <laughs> it's pink. The color of romance. The color of emotions. It's very feminine. What is going on with all my rose quartz people? The lovers? Taking a little break. <laughs> the lovers, okay. It could be a Gemini or you're involved with a Gemini. You have the Empress, okay. Maybe you're dealing with um, your baby mama. The High Priestess, and then you have the Ten of Cups. Why does everybody want to know about like third party? I feel like people want to know if there's other people in the picture. <laughs> you guys quit stalking. <laughs>
goodness. <laughs> okay. So. I'm feeling like there could be Yeah, it's like somebody wants to know about like their partner's ex. Like if they're still interested or still talk to them. Um that's a random message, okay? For somebody. I don't know who that was for. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like you guys kind of fight because, like, you think that your partner is still interested in an ex. That's what I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like maybe the ex has his kids. Okay, maybe he has kids. And I feel like you don't. I feel like you don't have any kids with him. But you're just, like, wondering, like... Are they too like fucking around when like I turn my back or something? Cause he's your total happiness. You're like, and you're super sexy too. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I feel like you guys are super sexy, and <clears throat> it's like you're so sexy. You know that you're like better looking than like the ex. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> you're like, I know what I bring to the table. <laughs> it's like you're confident, but you're just like, you still want to know. Quit tripping. Like, I don't understand why you're tripping, girl. like yeah he does have kids with her and yes she was someone important in his life in the past but I feel like he looks at you in a different it's not the same vibe it's like this is the baby mama and this is you okay um, It's like, maybe like your guys' connection is very spiritual. It's like maybe when you guys like met, it was like, why do I feel something for you and I don't even know you type of vibe. You know, like a soulmate vibe. <sighs> that was bomb. My ASMR that ass. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> One of my personalities came out, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm a Gemini, too. <laughs> Anyways, back to the reading. Huh. I feel like, yeah, oh my gosh. So you guys have, like... You guys are very sexual. I feel like your partner sees you as a sex object as fuck. He's like... Damn. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Like, the message just came through and it was like, should I say that? Should I not say that? <laughs> you guys, I don't, like, censor myself. So, <clears throat> this is mature. <laughs> For mature audience. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel like your partner's, like, he loves to fuck you like he probably like loves your thick thighs like that's one of his favorite parts also you have nice breasts so he like loves like your chest okay i feel like <laughs> it's getting x-rated you guys <laughs> it's because that's how your guys's energy is you guys like want to fuck all the time you guys are so sexually attracted to each other not only sexually, but emotionally as well. And then these two cards came out. Three? Okay. Okay. Yeah, what I tell you guys? See? He's obsessed with your ass. Like, he's obsessed with you. Like, he's just, like, mm, like, your ass, and then he, like I said, he he's into your, like, tits. 
<laughs> hey. And I feel like you need to, he, you guys need to talk, okay? And I feel like you guys need like reassurance. So you guys need to have a talk about reassurance because I feel like he does care about you, okay? But you need to tell him that you need constant like reassurance, okay? Like if there's something that bugs you, girl, like tell him. Don't just keep it to yourself. Like if you don't like the way maybe like he talks to you or like maybe not even that not even that but like maybe it has to do with like the baby mama like I don't know like there's something obviously like that concerns you and makes you feel like you're out of like the box okay understand that you know he like he has kids and he has to like if he's like the type of guy that like he's still mutual with his like baby mama and just picks up his kids and goes like that's all that matters, okay? He, like, loves you. He's obsessed with you. And, um, he loves you very much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna do a quick, um... Yeah, you guys are gonna think of a question, okay? A yes or no question. It has to be a, a yes or no question, okay? And I'm gonna use my pendulum and then I'll tell you guys what the answer is. So I'm gonna give you like two seconds to like think about what you want to ask. I feel like it's a maybe, okay? That stands for maybe. I don't know what you guys ask, but you guys got a maybe. All right, so that was your reading for Rose Quartz. Um, go ahead, like, and subscribe to my channel. I also offer personal readings, and I'll leave all that information in the description if you're interested, okay? All right. All right, and then this is gonna be for the people that chose the shell. So love reading for you guys too. getting guided to grab my other deck you guys sorry I have so many decks like swear Page of Swords and the Five of Cups, but they're reversed. Okay. So, I'm feeling like this collective is choosing to not look at, not examine something anymore. Like, I feel like this can be a relationship. I feel like this relationship is over. Like, you're not dealing with it. Like, you're you're starting to, like, you gave up. You're not, like, interested anymore. You're not interested and you've let it go. Which is, I feel like, a good thing. I feel like it's relief. Because maybe, I feel like you could have maybe even been married to somebody. Okay, and if not, maybe you guys were just dating. You guys were in a relationship. But I feel like this relationship could have been a little, like, toxic. So maybe your partner could have degraded you a bit. Okay. Yeah, see? I feel like... 
you guys are choosing to be your independent selves okay you guys are probably a woman i feel like maybe you you're a woman and you like left a relationship and you're single as fuck <clears throat> And you're just getting it. You're getting your coins. You're starting to like feel good again. You feel good. Everything's going good, girl. Or guy. Um, this isn't like gender specific, you guys. But if you're a guy, you know. I feel like you still need like a lot of self-love. Okay? I feel like... Maybe that's what you're working on. You're working on like self-love. Like you're trying to like dress up, trying to feel better about yourself. You're starting to nurture yourself. I know that you're, I feel like you're super close to getting to that point where you're just like feeling yourself all the way. So you're maybe giving yourself like a change, like a different, like a different look. Like I feel like you could be getting your hair braided um you could be like buying like yourself a new wardrobe like you could be into jewelry maybe a new tattoo i am seeing that like it's like new you all the way <clears throat> heck yeah i get it what's the energy that the people that chose the shell should focus on for the rest of the week the rest of the month okay i feel like you need to focus that focus on whatever it is that makes you happy okay <clears throat> and um just know that you have so many options okay because i feel like yes you're feeling good about yourself but i feel like your love life right now hasn't moved on like you haven't met anybody new okay um there is options if you choose to like go out there and get it okay i feel like right now maybe you don't even want to know about love like love is the last thing that you want to know about because like the past left you so traumatized like i'm telling you like this person could have been like very toxic um could have been like very degrading like they probably hurt your self-esteem like so bad and you're still like learning to love yourself you felt like they cut you it was like maybe one of the worst betrayals you felt. But you know what? One day, you're gonna... You don't have to date right now. It's okay, alright? If you don't want to date and you just want to date yourself and just focus on... Do you, girl? I mean, that's what I do when I get, like, out of a breakup. Like, all I do is focus on me. Focus on getting healthy. You know, at least trying, you know, different, like, habits. Just changing your habits. Maybe like, you know, reading books, educating your mind, taking care of your mental health, helping others, spending time with your family, with your siblings, with your mom, with your dad, like just enjoying life. I feel like that's what you need to do. And eventually like you're gonna get to a point where like whatever you want, you're just gonna have to focus on it and it'll come to you. All right, so I feel like a lot of like healing I feel like a, a lot of healing. Alright, if you guys want to go ahead and ask a yes or no question, okay, think about it right now. <clears throat> what? <coughs> what? Um, excuse me, guys, my throat is like. Anyways, yeah, think about a yes or no uh, question, and then I'm going to use my pendulum. I'm going to try to hold my hand as still as I can and then I'll let you guys know what the answer is so think of a question
So you have maybe. <coughs> Whatever you asked, it was maybe. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. I hate when I get maybe, right? Um, but whatever your question was, maybe. There's a lot of factors that can um, influence something, right? Okay. Alright, so if you guys want to go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel, that would be great, you guys. And then this is going to be the reading for Labradite. Okay, this is for all the people that chose a Labradite. Labradite was this stone, by the way. Four of Wands, and then this is the Knight of Cups. So relationship, I feel like you, for some group of people, I feel like you guys could be getting a new home. Okay, maybe you're closing out on a on a home, on a property, on a condo, on a house, somewhere where you're gonna obviously uh, reside in, right? I feel like. If you're making a business deal, for anybody that's making any business deals, they're going to be going very good. Um, could be that maybe you're going to be like meeting eye to eye. Some people could be getting married. I am feeling that as well. Um, some people could be getting married, could be trying to take the next step, or maybe, maybe I feel like... You're fresh out of like getting married and you're just looking at life and right now you're super happy because you're with the person that you love. I feel like maybe there's some people that as well can be like having a relationship where you're looking at your partner like, dang, we've been together already for four years and we're not married. I want to marry you. I can't believe that it's been four years already. Like that. Wow, a lot of romantic feelings, you guys. Okay, let's see what's going on with the collective of Labradite. seven of pentacles yeah see it's like you want to focus on a relationship you want to grow something with somebody i feel like i feel for some of you that i feel like could be single okay maybe there's someone that you're interested in a female obviously um that's probably like a little different from you she could be into the dark things so maybe her like She's just like a little rebel. Like, I get very, like, different, okay? Different from the crowd. Different from, like, the girls that you date. Like, different as in, like, there's something different about them, but you still like them, even though they're different. Maybe this is a partner that you wouldn't typically go for. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like, <clears throat> you like that she goes towards the things that she wants. And uh, she's always willing to learn something new. Yes. I feel like you haven't. Um, I feel like you're going to tell them. I feel like maybe there was a struggle in like 
confessing your feelings, okay? I feel like, yeah, like, it's a little hard to, like, confess your feelings. You do it more by actions than by, like, speaking. And it's like, this person that, okay, this person that, okay, now I'm getting mixed messages, you guys. For the people that are in a relationship with their partner, you still feel like you have to, like, they're, they intimidate you, like, you care so much about what they think. It's like you just want them to know that you're perfect. It's like... That was weird. <laughs> yeah, but um, I feel for the people that are single, yeah, you could be like wanting to like ask this girl out on a date. Like you've known her and she's your friend, but you guys are not nothing serious. I feel like you're gonna confess your feelings towards her and you're gonna tell her that you would like to go out with her oh snap you're gonna invite someone out on a date hell yeah get it <laughs> and they like flirting with you i feel like they flirt with you and you just you guys are into the flirting a lot oh dang okay okay i'll turn them this way i'll do these two The Page of Swords and, is it? Yeah, the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like you guys could be around your same age. Okay, maybe you guys could be like early 20s, mid 20s. Um, 23-ish, 25. Um, and maybe I feel like yeah you've been watching them you've been watching them for a while or maybe they've been watching you too I feel like they've been watching you too like they know that there's something there but it's like thin ice like someone doesn't know how to break the ice Oh, snap. <laughs> but someone's taking the initiative and trying to break the ice. It's going to happen. The offer, the message is going to come, okay? It's going to come. It's coming. Someone's about, like, they can't take it no more. They got to, like, express how they feel. Wow. <laughs> That is so cool. All right. So now I'm going to do the pendulum. I'm going to do the pendulum um, question. So you guys are going to think of a question. A yes or no question. Okay. Um, and yeah. I'll let you guys focus on it. I'm going to try not to move it. So... No. So, whatever you asked, it meant no. Because <laughs> it was going like this. So, it means no. Okay. That was your answer, you guys. Um, and, yeah. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. And... I will see you guys next time. <laughs> I'm trying to pull all my cards away, you guys. Okay. Okay, and this is for all the people that chose Onyx. My last reading.
What is up, all my Onyx people? Who's into the dark side? <laughs> Onyx, what it does is it like protects you from like negative energy. So I actually own <laughs> earring um, with Onyx in it because I have to protect my energy, you guys. Like I'm very intuitive, so I deal with a lot of people, and everybody has different types of energies. Some people can be hateful and just like envy you and don't want to see you doing good in life then you have people that you know just suck up your energy and it's just like it's like this cup right i just keep sipping it and uh the more it like it drains right <laughs> two pentacles Okay, I felt like this one. Decisions, decisions. Conflict. Okay. There's some decisions that you needed to make. Okay. Um. I feel like maybe there was some conflict that happened, right, between you and a group of people. Could have been like you and, and your significant other. Could have been you and friends. Um, could be coworkers. I'm even feeling. Um, but yeah, there was definitely some type of conflict, and you had to like retreat. Okay, you had to retreat, and now you're coming back. gosh i feel like someone had like conflict with somebody and it didn't get resolved and now it's like it's barely gonna get resolved and you're just ready to like let them have it like i feel like these people kind of like were trying to attack you or this person was trying to attack you and you were just like really it's like they hurt your feelings and now you're just like you got your guard up and now you're just like you ain't gonna hurt my feelings this time, like. Uh, you do have the Ten of Pentacles, so it could be with a family member. Okay, I am getting. Maybe there's some conflict happening between you and your siblings, and or maybe you and your dad, I'm feeling like. Maybe, I am feeling like for a group of people, like maybe like, your dad saw you as a meanie me and wanted you to be just like him and so that there's so now there was this picture that he wanted to paint in you that you had to be and you just didn't want to or maybe like you are like him but you also like make your own choices and you don't want to be just like him and everything you want to be your own self that's good i like that Um, yeah, but there's definitely some conflict, some type of feelings. Okay, what is the energy that the people that chose the onyx crystal, what is the upcoming energy? What should they do? I feel like this card. Justice. Justice is gonna be served, you guys. Some people are go some people are going to learn their karma. It's coming, it's on its way. Um things are being balanced out. Yeah, it's definitely with the father. It's with your dad. And you could be a girl, I feel like. Or maybe you saw that. Maybe there's somebody that you're 
that you just had like really high expect expectations of, right? This person could be like, maybe if they're not your real parent, it's like you saw them like they were your father, your mother, like someone you like of high like stature, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just were like a fond of them, like, And it's just like, you're like, nope. It's like maybe they try to like give you advice and you're like, nope, I'm not gonna hear it. Like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. It's like you guys are clashing. But um, there will be balance. I am seeing that. So whatever conflict, this family conflict is happening, like it's gonna get resolved. I feel like it's very like family orient oriented type of reading is what I'm feeling could be like you and your siblings too like you guys think different you want your opinions about I don't I don't know you guys it has to do with family some conflict only you guys would know right okay all right so let's ask your question with the pendulum I'm gonna try to like hold it really stiff and so yeah just think of a question Yes or no question. 